Hey, this is Joe from uh, Dawn, and I wanted to um, do a quick video on uh, our new control system. Um, so for spring 2016, for the RFX hydraulic down pressure systems, we're introducing a ISOBUS controller. Basically, a lot of our clients just said, hey, they want to simplify their cab environment. They want to have their uh, controller just built into a, a console that they're comfortable with um, already. And uh, so I was going to show you a, a few of the details. Um, all of the core components of the row unit are the same, the RFX plus actuator, the um, MyFX computer controller, all the same stuff. Uh, basically, you'll just have to add this one master controller. So this is a, a little control module. Each row will have its own individual controller still. They communicate with the master controller, and then it's then talking ISO bus up with the uh, tractor, okay? so. Uh, the way it's going to look, it's kind of like like here. You'll have the um, Dawn application. Um, then you have a main overview screen, okay? And so on your main overview, what's going to happen is you'll have uh, kind of a, a readout of your uh, gauge wheel load, um, the applied downforce, which is a system overview. So it's pretty much going to be it's going to be displaying. Um, an, an overview of the entire planter. So there's a kind of an inverse relationship between applied down pressure and, uh, tar and gauge wheel load. You can set your, your target value across the entire planter there. You can uh, calibrate, do your zero point calibration. So when you lift up off the ground, and you want to zero out all of your way pins, you can just do that from your home screen too. Um, detail screen, you can uh, go into basically the row unit details right here. You can change the mode between automatic and manual. Um, manu in manual mode, you're basically running a fixed amount of down pressure. It's like a spring. And regardless of how much force is on the gauge wheels, you're always putting the same down pressure. Uh, in uh, automatic mode, you're modulating the down pressure to maintain the same gauge wheel load, okay? Um, really simple. It's just everything about this ISO user interface is about simple, simple, simple. Okay, so it just turned off. So it, it's showing how the, the proximity sensor works, which basically when you lift the planter off the ground, it triggers the switch, it waits 30 seconds, and then it turns the planter off. So I can just touch it with a piece of metal, and it will come back very quickly. Uh, You'll have a screen here. This, this will auto-populate with all of a, a bar graph showing the output of all of the rows. And then if you have more than 24, it will just scroll back and forth, giving you an overview of the planter. Um, interestingly, we're integrating the control. We're, we're probably not going to let people use this the first year, but for your GFX row cleaner, and your CFX fertilizer opener, we have this comprehensive hydraulic solution. We're gonna allow those to be auxiliary channels that you can also control through the same application. So you'll have the row cleaner, the fertilizer opener, everything available there. You'll have a main uh, setup menu, but it, it's just, you know, it's just a simple, robust, easy solution that a lot of people understand. Um, it, it'll work on a lot of different, it'll work on the John Deere, the Egg Leader, Trimble, you name it. Um, and I. You know, I expect that we'll probably migrate a lot of our existing clients over to this as they want to kind of declutter the inside of their cab. So thanks. That's uh, the IcePlus user interface there.